So let's do a go and a run through over kilowatts, kilowatt hours, cost, and power, and energy, and the electrical system. Okay. So a lot of times we get a question as to why we do what we do. All right. So let's take a look at this real quick. Let's give you an example and compare the tail of two light bulbs. And so this is a big deal. Right now, let's say we have a 60 watt light bulb. Now we're going to make some rough comparisons here, okay? Some rough, rough comparisons. So just bear with me on this one. How many residents live in the Bloomington Normal area? Yeah, I would say probably 150,000. How about the greater county-wide area? How many folks do you think live? Yeah, I would guess, yeah, I'd guess maybe 250,000. Let's make it 250,000. Would it be an impractical assumption to make that probably everybody that lives within McLean County, the 250,000 people, would have a single 60-watt light bulb, either in their home, apartment, at work? Would you agree that there's probably some substantial way to, to say that there's that many light bulbs? I would agree. So there is 60 watt light bulbs. Let's just say there are 250,000 of those light bulbs for one for every resident, just, just to make this kind of a knowledge say, right? What's a good amount of time you think a light bulb is on? I, I don't know, I don't care, I'm just making up some numbers here. What, what do you think we've got? You know, obviously summer there would probably be less lighting used, in the winter there would be more. Yeah, let's do five hours of energy. And that, that seems about right. So 60 watts at 250,000 bulbs, and that's run at five hours. About how many watt hours are we using? You see, I got the camera. You're going to have to bail me out again. 75 megawatts. Okay, 75 megawatt hours. So you took 60, multiplied by 250,000, and multiplied by 5 hours, and you came up with 75 megawatt hours? Okay, I can live with that. Crap, that's a lot of, that's a lot of megawatt hours. Let's just do for one day. So in one day, there's 250,000 light bulbs. There are 5 hours that each light bulb is on. They each consume 60 watts of energy, 75 megawatts. Typically around here, we are paying 13 cents. 13 cents, that's the same as $0.13 dollars per kilowatt hour. How much money is that? What are we looking at in cost right there? So yeah, you're right, you're right. So I would need 0.13 multiplied by 7. Yeah, now how do I convert that? Kilowatts to megawatts. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to need to add three zeros. Yeah, and how much did, uh, who, who got an answer? $9,750 dollars. Ooh, this example is working out better than I thought. We're almost paying $10,000 a day just for that. Now let's compare that. We're going to make these numbers up. If memory serves right, and I can't really honestly say, but I believe a compact fluorescent light bulb is about 13 watts for the equivalent uh, light output of a 60 watt light bulb. Let's do 13 watts. Let's keep the numbers the same. Again, 250,000 bulbs, how many hours are we going to do? Five hours. Somebody crush those numbers out. You got me here. So in red, what did you get? 16.25, how many? Megawatts. Okay, 16.25 megawatts. Okay, I got you, I got you. That's an interesting number. All right, let's do that again now. At 13 cents, multiplied by 16,250 kilowatt hours. Let's get that hour in there because it's absolutely critical. Yep, you're right. And what was the cost that you had this time? $2,112. So in one day, we would have spent $10,000. We only spent $2,000. Well, what does this mean? Why do we really care about all this? Well, let's take a look. On our campus, we have that big old wind turbine, the big boy. That is a commercial wind turbine. Let's just say it produces 1.6 megawatts. It's a little bit bigger than that, but for ease of numbers sake and efficiency sake, we can generate 1.6 megawatts. How many hours would that wind turbine need to spend to generate 75 megawatts? So if I can make 1.6 megawatts 
how many hours is that critter going to have to come up with to nail down 75 megawatt hours? So somebody take uh, 75 divided by 1.65 and what do you get? 47 hours. Nice. Would we be hard pressed to say that's equal to two days? 48 hours. That wind turbine would have to spend two solid days nonstop to overcome that much energy. The sheer size and attrition that we need to do to save this electricity is realistically why we want to do this. I understand some people don't like to be forced to change. I understand that there's energy conservation and changes in the light bulb intensity and other problems where the bulbs don't last and there's mercury you've got to throw away. I get that. I'm looking simply at energy that's available for us to collect, energy that's available for us to produce and send out. Here's my take. The problem that I face is if I were to take 16,250 kilowatt hours and divide it by a 1.6 megawatt turbine, that comes out to be about 10 hours, roughly 10 hours. So the turbine would only need to run for 10 hours straight in order to provide the same light intensity as the 250,000 incandescent light bulbs. Here's what this really truly means from a big standpoint. Populations are growing, homes are getting built, new jobs are coming in. We have growth. We will always have growth. And as we have growth, we're going to have more electrical consumption and needs. If I could get rid of these 60 watt light bulbs, go to a 13, I can save myself the better half of a day and a half of energy production that that wind turbine needs to provide to keep those lights on when I can take it and put it into the new homes, into new computers, into new jobs. So it's really in our advantage to keep with the infrastructure and use newer and efficient systems and save that energy. That's where money is coming into. If you like to go by money, basically we could save ourselves almost $10,000 every day if we went through this. So again, I'm not advocating pro or con for anything or how we get there. I'm just simply telling you from a very large scale, from a small little county in the middle of nowhere, Illinois, we are looking at tremendous amounts of energy being consumed. Do you think we're using more than 250,000 bulbs in a day? I would agree. In the entire United States, we're using a crap load more. This is the power of numbers that come into play. There's more than that PFM that we talked about earlier. And we need to know why things behave the way they do so you have a comprehensive and knowledgeable way of solving problems. That's why we need to know what kilowatt hours are. That's why we need to know what watts are, how to measure that. How can we align wire and uh, safely troubleshoot those things? It's all because we need to know the background that makes these stories go. There's always a background. There's always reasons for why we do stuff.